Hello, I am Yuri Flair, better known as Luos. Today I'm going to show you some simple editor related tips, mainly focused on material editing. I'm going to do a series of short tips, tutorials, and again, mainly showing off cool things in the material editor, but let's start with the engine itself to make our lives a little easier. Now, first, sometimes when you're recording or whatever, especially if you're on 4K, all the items, menus, and whatever are a little bit too small. So you can go to Window, Dev Developer Tools, and then the Widget Reflector. If you change that scale, as you can see, everything gets a little bit bigger. And in some cases, that's quite nice, especially when you're recording or whatever. So, as you can see, now all these icons here are really, really big, and I don't like that. So, let's go to Edit, and then Editor Preferences, and then use the small to toolbar icons there. Now they are nice and small, way better in my humble opinion. Okay, so that's the first two tips already. Let's do a few more. Let's go to the keyboard shortcuts. In this case, I want to go to the material editor. And this is something that is going to help you a lot, in my humble opinion. Everybody I, I tell to are like, oh my god, I wish I knew this before. So you can go all the way down. There are a lot of them. But the most important one is set preview note. And I got it on the P for preview. And I also uh, linked that keystroke to my mouse. So that's quite easy. And... I'm going to show you what that does. I'm going to open a simple material. And now whenever I press the P key, I'm previewing that node. So if I only want to preview that, preview that. And if I press the P key again, it stops previewing. And that's going to save you quite some time. Else you have to go to right mouse click and then start previewing. Right mouse click, stop previewing. And that just takes so much time, especially over a whole project. So there's that. A few other things. Now we got the content browser open. If you have the few options, you can actually disable real-time thumbnails, especially if you're on a lower-end computer. This can save you some performance. So if you disable that, then you're done. Another interesting thing now that we're here, in the few options, you can also set lists, which just adds a list, but the, de the information is quite, well, limited, as you can see. It's only a material and the name. But there's also the columns. And this is actually quite interesting because you can quickly see if it's a material, if it has a scene color, blend mode, uh, if it's default lit, and all that kind of thing. So if you change something, let me just go in here, and instead of default lit, I'm going to set it to unlit and save it. And I need to make sure that I disable that the other time. Then it tells you that it's unlit. And this way you can quickly see if you need something changed or whatever. You can do the same for meshes, textures, whatever. I need to quickly change this back to default lit, else I'm going to screw myself over in the near future. And let's see, is there anything else that we want to do right now? I think that's it for now. I want to do this quick and I don't want to have like 10 minute video. So 30 minutes is enough. All right, so that's the first small tip tutorial thing. All right, take care.